What's up guys? This is Chris here and today we've got something pretty cool for you. Today we're going to be doing a first shot on a PCC. I haven't had a 9mm PCC out here in a while so I was pretty excited about this. And this one in particular I was really excited about just simply because of the specs on it when I saw it online. I was super psyched. So we picked this guy up. Leviathan did send us to this. This is the Leviathan Defense Loki. Now obviously that won't change my opinion or what happens in the review process. Whatever happens in this video you're going to see it. And today we're going to be popping some Glock mags in this and shooting some 9mm and having a pretty good time. It is a traditional blowback operation 9mm PCC. Similar to the new Springfield that just came out recently and similar in price as well, although I feel like this one kills it in the feature set. The M-Lock rail is a full 15 inch M-Lock rail with a 16 inch barrel. It comes with a kind of a brake flash hider there it looks like. It looks like a muzzle brake but not much of one so hopefully we don't get too much concussion on there. Uh, pretty cool gray color down here with the billet upper and lower receiver. Uh, five and a half pounds, almost six pounds so it's very light and it comes with a 45 degree safety ambi safety for you uh, lefties out there uh, straight vertical grip not sure who this is from this is a, a pistol grip here but it's more like the BCM or the K2 with a more vertical angle which I like a lot flat faced uh, trigger there which is pretty light actually it was about four pounds and I think it's gonna make the gun pretty fast the uh, coating on the gun looks pretty sick as well as the big old mag release for the Glock mags now they have to do a mag release like this further back and it's kind of cool cool how they've done this one. Uh, Glock carbines are great because you get to use the Glock magazines, which obviously is awesome for everybody. Cheap, plentiful, works well with your handgun. Same concept as the cowboy action people of the old days, you know, uh, 45 Colt in your handgun, 45 Colt in your long gun. You can do the same thing here with the same magazines. Pretty cool, but the Glock magazines release at the front there, so they always have to do some sort of creative magazine release, and that's always the, uh, that's always the potential weak point of PCCs in 9mm with the Glock mag, so we'll be testing this guy out today. I'm always interested to see how they defeat that front release. Uh, pretty cool cut on the magwell there and we do have an included magwell which uh, it's going to funnel the magazines in kind of nice. We'll be testing that out. Uh, I did put my standard setup on here with the uh, Surefire and the aim point so we are going to have a pretty familiar feeling AR at least. That's another thing I like about 9mm PCCs. They feel just like your regular carbine. You go out and you can shoot steel close. You can shoot ammo that's a whole lot cheaper. 9's a whole lot cheaper than 5.56 in my area at least and uh, it's a lot of fun too. The other advantages of a PCC are going to be that they're not as loud indoors with particular types of ammo. They don't penetrate as much as certain rifle calibers or shotgun, buckshot, that kind of thing. Uh, but pick your ammo correctly. And the gun is made in Detroit by veterans. It does come with a full lifetime warranty and it does have a tactical grade Cerakote and it does come with a Savior Systems coffin case which is a pretty sweet case in and of itself and worth a couple hundred bucks. So a lot of good deals when it comes to this gun. So it could be good for small structures, apartments, small stature people, things like that. They're also pretty easy to suppress. Uh, so a lot of good things about a PCC and this guy coming in around the $1,300 price point, especially looking like this with all the features you need outside of the box, could be a potential winner. All it's got to do now is run real well, be accurate and fast. So still a tall order, but we'll take it down to the uh, range and see how we do. Before we go down there and shoot, I do want to mention my Patreon supporters. You guys are paying for the ammo for the video, and we really appreciate that. We're here because of your support. We try to give you the most honest gun content on the internet. We're not here for the industry. We're here for you. So if you like that kind of stuff, just go down to the description and join up for Patreon. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter named Iowa. It's the YSS. Those kids could really use your help, so please go down there and donate to those kids. All right, so we'll get this gun zeroed. We'll get the Aimpoint T2 zeroed. Uh, just pop a group, get uh, windage here at 10 yards, and then we'll go back to, I don't know, 25 yards. I'm still not dead set on where I'd like to zero my PCCs, to be honest with you. I'm obviously pretty set on 223 because 223 is good at 50 and then good at 200. You know, if you zero at 50, you're the same drop at 200. Usually you have to check that depending on barrel length. But as far as PCCs, I try to do like usually 25 yards because I usually shoot 25 yards and in. easy to shoot groups at 10 yards with a rifle I'll tell you that they're all touching makes me <laughs> makes me giggle <laughs> for a blowback gun it's got really nice recoil I'll be honest part of that's gonna be the brake but it does feel really good. Part of that's gonna be I have my favorite stock on it too. <laughs> 
No lock back on the Glock mags. All right, let's try it at 50 and see how we do. <laughs> now we're gonna pop a few off at of 50 here, but I did wanna say, you know, for the $1,200 price point, basically comparative wise, you're looking at, you know, CZ Scorpion, the uh, Banshee, the Springfield, and I think so far, at least features wise, this compares pretty favorably. I like them all, but let's say this is a good one so far, we'll see. I was going for that little six inch plate and apparently I didn't zero enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having some problems shooting today. You're burning through them though. Yeah, no lock back on the mags though. That kind of sucks. No problems yet. It turns out if I slow down and have a good trigger press, the gun goes where I want it to go. It's so weird how that works. <laughs> That's that target I couldn't hit from 50. Oh, maybe it's the angle. It's, it's the technique. <laughs> You're man enough to say. Two seventy one, at least I'm consistent. Not enough, not enough. We only have two left. Good <laughs> shot. I missed one. Pretty fast. For a blowback. Sometimes I try to shoot the dueling tree out of order. You get so used to popping them up and down, you know? That's really cool good training. Gun, Did this shoot better than I thought it would? I mean, I don't know about you, but to me, this shot really, really well. I mean, the only concern I really had, in all fairness, was gonna be the recoil, and the recoil is really good. I mean, with a blowback operated gun, especially with a nine millimeter, it's been done, it's been done before, it's been done before, and it's been done before that. So usually a blowback operation is gonna work, and if it doesn't work, it's their fault, not the operation. <laughs> it's like one of those things, like a browning tilted barrel handgun, better fucking work. So in which case, this one absolutely does. It's relatively light, uh, which is nice. I, I, it's five and a half, five and five and three quarter pounds, somewhere in there, and, uh, I was a little worried it was gonna be jumpy on the recoil, but it feels very similar to the CMMG Banshee and it doesn't have any delayed system or anything in it. it must just have a good sprung bolt and that kind of thing. It also does come with the uh, brake, which is just a single port brake and I didn't notice that. You didn't notice that in filming, did you? Cause uh -uh. it's a nine mil, so it's no. not a five of six, not spraying way out. Nope. And on top of that, I mean, I think that would be just fine for home defense. I was shooting through the bar barricade and I didn't notice any blowback at all. 
the rail held up. There's no uh, rickety parts and nothing moving around and no screws coming off or anything like that, which has been happening a lot to me lately in reviews, believe it or not. <laughs> Things just rattle the fuck off lately. I guess that's uh, post-2020 manufacturing, I suppose. But on this gun, at least, it worked really well. The uh, magazine uh, release worked really well. The only thing that we found out that didn't work was that it, it doesn't have a bolt lock. Uh, the gun looks really good. The uh, trigger functioned really, really well. It was super fast on the trigger, almost too fast, really. Because I mean, I wasn't ready for, I wasn't ready to shoot fast until the end, you know. And I kept bumping the trigger out. And it's so easy to come back in. It really is a pretty fantastic trigger for the price you pay for it. Uh, the safety worked really, really well. Very similar to a Radian, I guess. Except, in my opinion, these with the uh, the set screws in them, they can come out a little bit. The reason why I like the Radian so much is because they're a push pin spring. It tends to work a little better. But as far as in function, you don't notice any difference. Uh, extended charging handle works super, super well. Well, pistol grip worked great and you still have a little compartment in there to fit oil or double-a batteries stocks awesome it's my favorite stock we obviously uh, changed it out um, now I wanted to uh, talk about the the bolt lock system I'm not sure if this has a bolt lock or not uh, it didn't work for us on any of the Glock mags we ever used now is that the end of the world not really but in all fairness a lot of guns do have that these days and it is kind of weird that you don't uh, but if you just train through that and you just know that when you run dry your last round is gonna be dead then you just pop the mag out and run the action you just run the charging handle instead of running the uh the paddle and that's how that is i don't know if that is a a feature of the gun or not i guess i don't know if there is a bolt lock and it doesn't work or if there isn't a bolt lock i didn't do that much research because this is the first shots so we just take it out of the the box and we shoot the damn thing so uh lubed up with slip 2000 we ran 150 uh federal 115 through it and then 50 rounds of blazer brass and it all 100 percent very accurate very reliable easy to shoot I was tapping them at 75, easy through the barricade, uh, shooting steel up close. I even shot uh, from the hip at about 35 yards. You're and so was able good. to hit relatively well. I just wanted to have a little fun. You can't shoot the same old shit all the time. True. So uh, yeah, pretty, so far, pretty excellent gun. If you want to see some comparisons, let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see 1,000 round review, guess what? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.